Hello, pretties. I know it's late, but happy new year. <laughs> All right, guys, I have been slacking on recording for a while now, and it's 20. Yeah, let's just start at the beginning. Let's all talk about how 2020 was the worst year ever, and there is a lot of theories going on right now that, um, 2021 is not 2021, but 2020 part two. And I really hope that's not the case, but with the first couple weeks down, um, just hold on to your bridges. <laughs> like, come on. I'll even show you. It's really weird. Hey, Google. How many days till 2021? Like, Google is even screwed up right now. Look at that. Google is saying it's 17 minutes and 50... 17 hours and 51 minutes until New Year's. Until 2021. We're in a damn loop. All right. Whether it's a time loop or the world's already ended or... We're in the black hole that went missing, whatever the case may be. Everything else is saying it's 2021 and you know, new year, new me. Let's just hope that we don't die. Okay. With that being said, um, 2020 was the roughest year I have ever had. And like 2019 wasn't too bad. Now that I look back at it, 2018 was pretty rough. Um, but 2020 was, oh, because we had the virus, I've had family pass, um, career has not been taking off yet, jobs I've had have, um, been a little lackluster, but, um, I'm pretty much just preaching to the choir. Everyone has had their problems, like, their serious problems, and now that 2020 is over, and I can look back on it. I feel like with the help of the Unis Honest channel before it ended, I can say that 2020 was the year that we needed. Okay, guys, bear with me. So, anyone else who was not living under a rock or that pay attention to Markiplier and Crank Games and all that, uh, know that Mark and Ethan had a channel that lasted one year called Unis Honest. And it started November of 2019 and it ended November 13th, 2020. So um, it was literally just a, a really good concept that showed that we aren't going to be around forever. That we, everything's not going to stay the same. Everything is not guaranteed um if we don't enjoy the things that we have now or show gratitude or appreciation for the things we have then we won't get another chance the opportunities that we could take if we don't take them there might not be another chance and um i feel like their channel and their project along with 2020, came at a time that we all really needed it. Like, yes, you know, the political stuff, the, the virus, the everything. We all, or at least me, I feel like I have taken a lot of things in my life for granted. And 2020 has made me realize that I need to appreciate things more. And that I need to work on myself more before I try to rush out and do everything else because that's what I'm supposed to do. That's what society runs on, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah. Like, just their channel in general just made me, like, just... It not only made me realize I need to appreciate things and live life to the fullest, but it also got me through a lot of stuff in 2020. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I was depressed, severely depressed, for a good 
chunk of 2020, along with, I'm sure, most of the world. <laughs> um, during the quarantine, like, from, like, February time frame to, like, April, May time frame, that was the worst. Um, I was home all the time. I couldn't find a job. Uh, I was right out of grad school the December before. And I, I couldn't, for the life of me, I could not make my plans, my dream become reality. I couldn't work after all these years of going to school and, you know, hearing the whole, the whole thing of go to school and you'll get a job and you'll be happy. You'll make money. You can buy a house and blah, 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 blah. That rat race is really hard to run when there's a virus and no one's hiring. And then on top of it, you have private loans sort of biting at your heels and you have family that pass. There's, there's a lot of people that have had it worse than I have. So I can't really be like, woe is me, but it was pretty rough. It was a struggle, but I got through it and so did they. And it's because we had each other's backs. And as well as Unis Honest, like every day waking up to that timer ticking down a little bit long, a little bit slower, like just ticking on, slowly counting down. And knowing that it was going to end eventually, but you always had that feeling of, oh, that's months away. Oh, that's a year away. Oh, that's weeks away. And in the moment, just watching those videos over and over and enjoying it over and over and, <laughs> oh my God. Um, it got me through those months and I know they'll never see it. <laughs> But I want to thank him a lot. I want to thank Ethan. Like, that channel is the reason that now I'm subscribed to Ethan and I watch a lot of his stuff. And, yeah. But, um, and Mark, of course. Both of them together make a really cool team. And I would love to see them do more stuff together if they can, if their time permits, but... I digress. Um, yeah. But their channel has really hit me, like, on a personal level. It's made me realize that, yeah, you're going to get knocked down. Yeah. Your life is not going to go as as it's planned. Like, as you plan it. You know, if if my life went how I originally planned it, <laughs> I would... I would be an actor somewhere in LA by now uh, or washed up probably who knows <laughs> oh god um, I would have been an actor or I would have been a game developer or a musician in an orchestra for movie like for music for movies all those things yeah I would have been those if plans went accordingly so, or even a music teacher, you know, um, I had a lot of things I originally wanted to do that didn't flourish. Yeah. You know, as I got older and grew up out of the, I could be anything sort of phase. But, um, yeah, what I'm trying to say is life does not, will never go as we plan. It really won't. And especially in 2020, that dumpster fire of 12 months <laughs> was grueling. And it made me really look into myself and realize that it's okay. It's okay not to have a plan. It's okay not to know. And that's really scary, especially in a day and age, again, like I said, when you have 
student loans or and you have bills and you have family and everything else and you can't control everything you really can't and the harder that you try to control it the worse it's going to be and you're just going to stress yourself and make your time run out faster and kill yourself with worry if you keep on trying so there's really no point of of stressing. Now, saying that and doing it is two different things. Yo, I can say that until I'm blue in the face and then go tomorrow and be anxious about something, you know? <laughs> but as um, long as you try, you know? long as you remember the people that you have. And whether that's chosen family, like, you know, best friends, or a significant other, pets, like I have Nano now. I'll try to get Nano in a video if he doesn't want to try to claw me to death. Um, he wants to run around a lot, so he doesn't like to be in one spot, so I'll try to record a video with him. But um, whether it's pets, friends, uh, family, or even people that you watch stream or do YouTube or whatever, you know, like a, like a show on Netflix. I don't know. Whatever gets you by, you know, if you have to sit there and play a video game to get you by, okay, cool. If you have to go and do jogging, okay, that's great. But if you're on lockdown, don't go out jogging. Okay. Um, Animal Crossing, you know, origami, writing a book, reading, you know, whatever, whatever gets you into that zone that can just help you get by and not just lose yourself in the crazy that is the world right now, do it. Especially if, like, especially if you're not hurting anybody. If you're hurting somebody, don't fucking do it. Don't be an asshole. Don't be a dick. Leave that dumpster fire 2020 shit in the past. Like, just don't be an asshole. If it doesn't hurt anybody, go do it. it. Makes you happy? Go fucking do it. Because we all are running out of time. You know, eventually we're all gonna we're all not gonna be here anymore. So we might as well enjoy it while we can. You know, and we don't know when our timer's gonna be out. Not trying to be morbid, just <laughs> just trying to help you realize, you know. Might as well enjoy it while we're here. We don't know what comes after. And we don't know if there was a before. So enjoy the now, you know? So um I've been rambling for about like fifteen minutes now. <laughs> I will make another video on what is in this. And um you guys might like it. <laughs> but um I don't know we'll have to see this video got really sappy and sad and I want to leave it where it is I think showing off what's in this is gonna be a little I don't know I feel like I feel like it's gonna belittle everything I said so but um yeah I hope and pray that the worst is behind all of us and that we can finally move forward. So here's the hoping. <laughs> I guess I'll talk to you guys later. So I will start doing videos as soon as I can. And I will continue and finish Blair Witch as soon as I can. So if you have any other suggestions of video games, then uh, let me know. Or ideas for videos, let me know. That's it. See you guys in the next video. Bye, pretties.